Hey guys, it's Ruth with BodyByRuth.com, the place to be where you're going to learn to love the body and the life that you live. I wanted to come with two again today because it's the start of the week and it's super important that you start the week off with intention. And so I want to share with you five keys that are going to really help you find success every single week and to help you they all begin with the letter m okay so we've got five things we're going to talk about so the first thing is monday right so monday is one of the biggest keys to your success because since it's the first day of the week it dictates how you're going to behave the rest of the week i make sure i get up early on monday i also write my to-do list on Monday, my to-do list for my daily goals and what I want to accomplish for the week. If you get up early, you write your goals and you have a plan, you have your roadmap of what you want to achieve during the week ahead. So Monday is super important. Plus, whatever you do on Monday sets the tone for the rest of the week. So if you are active, if you are super productive, you're gonna be productive the rest of the week. If you don't get started and check off those boxes, it's gonna be Wednesday and all of a sudden you're gonna realize, oh crap, I haven't hit my to-do list yet. So, and then half of the week is gone. So use Monday as one of the tools that's gonna to really propel you to, um, to be successful. Get up early, write your to-do list, write your goals for the week, write your goals for even the month because you might be able to see how you're tracking and um, just make sure you do that every single Monday. The other thing about Monday is as you are writing your goals, think about three things that you can work on that are gonna help move the needle for you. So if you're working on your fitness, what are three things that you really wanna work on? Is it consuming more water? Is it being active 20 minutes every day? Is it um, getting more steps in your week? Is it eating more greens? What three things are gonna help move the needle for you? In your business, is it answering your emails? Is it doing the hard things first? Is it redoing your website? You have to think of the three big needle movers when it comes to helping you be productive. All right, number two, the second M is mindset. I shared with my clients this morning one of my favorite um, quotes from Henry Ford and that is whether you think you can or you think you can't you're right so much is to be said about our beliefs and this week we are talking all about beliefs in our online um, boot camp because your beliefs will dictate whether or not you achieve your goals if you're trying to lose weight and you have 30 pounds to lose or even 20 pounds and you always quit on yourself you might be jumping into your desire to lose weight a little half-heartedly because you know, oh, well, I never quit and never stick to the plan. You know you've quit on yourself before. So most likely you're gonna have that mentality of, well, I probably am gonna give up. So, you know, it's gonna be same old, same old for me. Change your belief system. So, well, maybe I didn't do so well last time and so I'm going to learn from those failures. Failures are feedback that help us make changes so that we could do it better, right? And change your beliefs so they aren't limiting you. They aren't preventing you from taking action. Um, maybe you are realizing I am 50, I'm 55, I'm 60. I really need to do something about this little pudge that's going growing around my belly. And you keep on convincing yourself that, well, I'm just too old to really get started in a weight loss program, or I'm too old to start to eat healthy now. Girl, no, you are not, okay? You gotta just ditch that and throw that mindset away. So your belief is going to propel you or it's gonna prevent you from taking action. Which one do you want? So ask yourself, what kinds of things am I telling myself? What is my self-talk? Is it preventing me from taking action? I'm too, I'm too old, I'm injured, 
I'm afraid, I'm afraid to fail, what will people say, what if I put it out there, people are gonna make sure they hold me accountable. That can be scary, but it's also liberating because you know you've mentioned it and there's gonna be people asking you about it. Um, if you are trying to learn tech, I know I just talked to my mom um, the other day to wish her happy Mother's Day and she was talking about how she wasn't sure how to upload a picture to Facebook. And she's like, I'm just too old. I can't do these things. I'm like, mom, no, you aren't. You can always learn something new. And in fact, when you learn something that is normally a struggle, it's liberating and it's, it's exciting. It makes you feel like you want to take more action. For me, the stuff that really kind of slows me down is the tech stuff all the stuff and the website behind everything that i might have a glitch on and then it slows down my plan and it slows down my progress maybe you have something that is just kind of stuck in your head karen i see you on i know you were saying that it's hard for you to stay motivated if you don't show up in person or if you don't have people expecting you you might be believing that because that's what you've experienced, but all of a sudden you're gonna say, you know what? I am going to believe that I can work out every day at five, right? Because that's something that you decided early on that five o'clock was a good time for you to work out. So you're going to just say, hey, I've got this, right? So those are all about beliefs and your mindset, how it's so important at the beginning of the week to really prevent those beliefs, those limiting beliefs from really taking a stronghold in your mind and adopting new beliefs that are gonna help you take action. All right, M number three to helping you find success this week is movement. In my boot camps and in our online tribe, you often will hear me reference never miss a Monday. It's a hashtag that we use all the time because Never Miss a Monday is setting you up for success. If you work out on Monday, it makes you feel good. You're motivated. You have more energy. That energy is going to be a reminder of, oh yeah, it feels good to move my body. Maybe I'll do it again tomorrow and maybe I'll do it again on Wednesday. So movement every Monday is a no-brainer you're just gonna do it it's no exceptions you're gonna make sure you move your body on Monday all right number four the M that is gonna help you find success this week is meal prep so if you are trying to save yourself some time if you're trying to eliminate overwhelm if you're trying to stay on track with your fitness and your nutrition goals your your meal prep is super duper important. The worst thing is coming home from work or finishing your work day if you're working from home and thinking, oh, what am I gonna make for dinner? Well, if you plan your meals at the beginning of the week, okay, I know I have, um, the kids have an activity this week on Wednesday, so I'm gonna use leftovers for that week or maybe we'll just do some kind of sandwich this week or you are, I'm going to say I'm going to use this meal twice this week or I'm going to make some healthy snacks on Sunday or Monday that are going to give me a quick grab and go so I don't grab anything bad. I love hard boiled eggs. I love making protein balls. I love doing a batch of quinoa or brown rice. I love grilling some chicken so that I have some good staples and all I have to do is just toss in some veggies and I have a great meal. It's also great to just slice up some fresh fruit like melon so that it's ready to go. Kids are way more likely to eat healthy if those pieces of fruit are sliced and ready to go. So meal prep is going to help you find success in your nutrition goals, but it's also gonna help you in your productivity goals because you'll have less time wondering what to make. All right, and finally, I love this one. This is my favorite one. We've been talking about this M word in my online bootcamp this month too, and that is the word momentum. 
So if you have a goal, whether it's trying to run your first 5K, a half marathon, or just moving your body at all, the thing you need to do is to build momentum. And the way to do that is to take action. So if you need to build momentum with moving more, start something today. It could be I'm gonna move for five minutes, or it could be, okay, I'm gonna do this 20 minute workout. And then you're gonna realize, okay, I did it yesterday. Let's do it again tomorrow. And then let's do it again on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. And all of a sudden you're creating momentum and momentum keeps you motivated. There's another M word. If you need to stay motivated, you gotta build momentum. So I like to try to apply a two day rule. And what that means is if you are trying to move more, don't miss more than two days without exercising, okay? If you're trying to eat healthy, try to eat healthy four days in a row, have a cheat day. Then eat healthy, have another cheat day. Like try not to miss two, don't, don't mess up two days in a row, okay? So momentum occurs when you take action and you do that repeatedly over and over that action is then going to become a habit. So if it's a good action and it's creating a healthy habit of moving or eating better, then you're creating healthy habits, which in turn are gonna give you momentum and help you find success. Now, if you want a little um, cheat sheet to help you remember these five M's, I made a fun little guide for you. I will put the link down below so you can download that Keep it in your bedroom, keep it in your office, keep it in your planner. It's gonna spell it out, but it's gonna give you a nice little cheat sheet so you can be mindful of the five M's that are gonna help you find success. Here's to this awesome Monday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you guys.